With more people doing more shopping online and depending on delivery, more big trucks are hitting U.S. roads. Also increasing are the calls for additional safety measures, specifically side underride guards that can prevent another vehicle basically from being cut in half during a crash. The Stop Underrides Act was just reintroduced into the Senate that would make those guards mandatory. But her fiance walked away from that crash. And what I learned is it wasn't the crash that took my daughter's life. It was the underride. It wasn't the crash that killed them because I was in the crash and my son in the front seat. We survived because our part of the car did not go under the truck. It was the underride. During a virtual event, mothers of children lost to underride crashes made their pleas for new rules. They and other advocates and even federal safety boards have made attempts for decades to put regulations in place. Some in the tractor trailer industry have voluntarily added them. Others claim the side guards are too expensive, too heavy, or might create other hazards on the road. The math ends up being 50 cents or less a day, which actually, if you consider the number of miles these trailers run on a daily basis, uh, the hope is between 350 to 500 miles a day for these trailers. You're talking about a cost that actually is paid for in the first quarter mile. Crash tests performed on tractor trailers with and without the side guards show just how deadly they can be. Advocates say underride crashes are underreported because there is no universal way to put them into reports and track them. In 2018, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety showed about 600 Americans died from side and rear underride crashes.